Hey guys, Lunar Spy 27 here. I'm outside at the moment because all things didn't go according to plan right now, but that's not really important right now. Um, so Bleach Chapter 508, Like a Raging Fire. This was a really, really good chapter. Uh, basically, how it starts off. Um, According to uh, the white bean pole Quincy, Yamamoto's flames, the ones that are, he is engulfed in with his Anka no Tachi was, apparently they're not really flames. They're actually his reatsu, his spirit energy surrounding him in flames. So is it his spirit energy that is causing the, the intense heat in Soul Society? I don't know. I think it might be. But... <laughs> But, you know, right after that, um, Yamamoto, he says that he's going to take on Yuha Bak, finish it quickly, before he, Yuha Bak, and everyone in Soul Society is engulfed in flames. As I said before, Yuha Bak has made Yamamoto very, very desperate to activate his Bankai. So, Yamamoto, he's a very, very confident in his abilities. Hell, he says that, you know, without his... Without a box a sword, he can't even lay a hand on him. <laughs> so, but he still has his Quincy arrows, but they proved to be useless against Yamamoto because he, I think he like destroyed it or he swatted away or something when um, Yuabaka uh, shoots one. Apparently, those arrows are also the same arrows that killed Chojiro Sasakibe. I thought they were lances, but I guess not. Um, so, you know, now. <laughs> I like the fact when Yamamoto says that he's going to finish this quickly and he just starts slowly walking towards Yuha Bak. But, you know, right after that, Yamamoto gives us this badass face. One thing I really like about Kubo is his when he draws, when he puts effort into his uh, drawings, he can really draw really well. I mean, Yamamoto's, the close-up on Yamamoto's face is epic. Also, you know, he, so anyway, Yamamoto decides to head towards... You are Bach, but he, as I said before, Bach, um, him being the new main villain, he has another trick up his sleeve. Um, I'm not really sure what exactly this, what exactly was going on, but uh, there are a bunch of Roman numerals um, coming out of his hand, and its technique is called Kirchenlade, which means Holy Heim in German, and he uses this new technique called Sankt, Sw Sankt Swinger. Swinger apparently is a part of a medieval fortification slash defense complex. And anyway, this Zang Swinger, apparently it's this uh, huge ring that surrounding Yuha Bak with uh, the Quincy crosses um, around it, plus uh, one huge Quincy cross with the Quincy emblem on it in the middle. And according to Bach, it says that is the... Um, it is a offense and a defense technique and a very powerful powerful technique from the Quincy's. Uh, according to Bach, if you step inside, the light of God will tear you asunder. So if Yamamoto steps in, um, the light of God will probably obliterate him. But <laughs> Yamamoto does something epic. I mean... He's not phased by this at all. So he um, stabs his sword on the ground and he does this chant. I, I have it right here. O oh, corpses, ashes of the dead, scattered by my flames, lend me your aid. For a spell, I shall grant you the pleasure of battle. And I was right. Whether there is a north, there is a whenever there is a west and an east, there is a north and a south, and. <laughs> There is a Zanka Notachi South. Kaka Ju Manokushi Dai Soji. Grand array of 10 trillion dead and buried by flames. So Zanka Notachi South is basically Yamamoto summoning 10 trillion scorched skeletal bodies. He freaking summoned the undead, basically. <laughs> from the pits of hell that's what it looks like and it looks freaking epic this 
you know, that's when the chapter ends, and I gotta admit, I freaking love this chapter. Yamamoto surprises me more and more with these new Zanka no Tachi techniques. And you know, since there's a south, imagine what his north could be. I mean, I don't know what can possibly top 10 trillion corpses scorched with weapons. <laughs> but I'm assuming since, you know, south is like him bringing the undead, I'm guessing, you know, north could be something from above. Like, he could bring down the heavens or the sun itself or whatever it is. I bet north can be, will be even more epic than Kakaju Mano Kushi Dai Sojin. But I don't know what could possibly top the 10 trillion dead and buried by flames. So overall, this chapter was, again, really cool. It, yeah, it, this chapter, it was a bit short, but it was still epic when it came to the action. And you know what? If the Bleach anime does come back, and it would be really awesome to see this animated. So overall, I'm just, I freaking love this Bankai. I can't wait to see what happens next. And I'm still not counting out Yuga Habak yet. I mean, for all we know, he still has another trick up his sleeve. He is the new main villain of this arc this arc it felt like this arc has already started and i'm loving it already <laughs> so yeah you know what this for this chapter it gets a 9 out of 10 for me i freaking loved it, it yamamoto zanka no tachi is epic as always i cannot wait to see if there is a north and you know i have a question for you guys hypothetically what if um Aizen didn't steal Ryuji and Jaka, and Yamamoto had no choice but to use Zanka no Tachi. Do you think Aizen would be able to win? Or will he lose to Yamamoto's Bankai? You know what, let me know in the comments below if you like. So, yeah, again, this chapter was really great. I can't wait to see what happens next. So that was uh, Bleach chapter 508. I'm going to spiral into my 7, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.